Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we'll make a short video about development of the two rolls of film. And I will start with the Fuji 200. And probably as everybody knows, this is the same film as a Kodak 200. And I usually shoot this film overexposed to one stop. So I basically set up ISO 100 on my exposure meter and later develop it normally in the normal procedures with the 3 minutes 15 seconds in the Fuji Hunt kit. So far I have really great experience with this kit, with the development of the film and also with my scanning setup. I think from now on I will double down on the scanning setup what I'm using and I think to make it a little bit more reliable and manageable in my darkroom. But about this a little bit later, so let's start with the loading of the film in the drum and start preparation of the chemicals. As usual I change in temperature in the first bath for the developer because it's most critical step and I'm using distilled water for intermediate bath washings and I'm using two flasks with the 250 milliliters and I'm starting with the developer. I pour around 250 milliliters for one film in the drum and here usually you need to be careful with the bleach fix after you applying the developer. In case of Fuji Hunt it's only bleach but this process, if you overfill your yobo drum, you will get the explosion of the cap and even if you push the rubber part inside, sometimes it's not enough volume, so never overfill the tank more than required for your development of the fill. You probably saw it several times when the lid is actually popping in my videos, so this is exactly why you have a rubber knob on top of the yobo and most of the time you just need to push it inside and it's just give expansion volume for the gases inside the drum. Otherwise, if you forget to do this, you can actually lose a lot of solution because you first of all overfill the drum and secondly, half of the drum will be actually spilling inside the water bath. Nowadays, I make two washes. I dilute the solution first with the 1 to 150 milliliter run, and with the second run, I more or less finish up the washing. And after that, I apply fixer and do standard fixer procedure. And also, after fixing, I make the double wash with exactly the same procedure that I made after Blake's. I think this whole procedure with the separate solutions from the Fuji Hunt. It's one of the beneficial improvements what I have in my darkroom. And I'm still thinking that the most of the film which I've developed before with the different kits and probably even Tetanol doesn't really compare in quality to what I do at the moment. I'm not sure if it's my experience or it's just I getting better with the development of the color film or with the scanning or with both. But I can for sure say results what I'm getting from the new batch of the film with my last iteration of the scanning. So I'm quite happy with the result. And now I just want to try to develop film from this single time use Kodak camera. And I never done it before. So it was quite easy to use and quite fun to shoot. And I see inside this you have a strange Kodak film for the ISO 800, which you can use only for instance cameras. The funny fact is actually I bought this camera even cheaper than the ISO 400 standard Ultramax film and I'm actually not sure if it's much worse in quality so sometimes I'm thinking it's something strange happening on the market at the moment with the film prices and for usual batches I run one degree higher in temperature of my chemicals and pour the developer inside the tank and the idea here to actually have a mean temperature of the development around goal temperature of 37.8 degrees. It's no problem with the development if I do it like this. I never get any problems with the long developments or developments of the four or five rolls of the film in the same time in the tank. You just always need to keep it in mind that this development system is full of imperfections. And you completely cannot say that the temperature for this tank and how it works is completely stable because it doesn't. And if you measure the temperature to pour inside the drum and pour out from the drum, you have at least one degree of change of the solutions in the drum while it's processing. So it's crazy critical to preheat your drum, otherwise you will get more degrees of drop, for example 2 degrees, 4 degrees. So just leave the drum with the film preheating up to the 5, 10, half an hour, something like this in the same 
temperature, what you have your chemicals at, nothing will happen, but you will get more precision in your development and you will have less problems and your colors will be more vivid and you have better results with the color rendition of your film. I think it's important and never forget to actually properly wash your film after and use DI water for final rinse at least. And in this case you will always get the best results and you can scan them. And as you remember, I'm using this scanning solution of my larger hat and the macro lens. And let's see the results of my work. Once again, thank you for watching and supporting my channel. I hope to see you in the next videos.